Hi Ellen, my name is Leah Cairns and I live up in Vancouver, Canada and I wanted to introduce you to two of my heroes. Two amazing little girls who have never met. One lives in Canada, one lives in the States. Hi Ellen, my name is Savannah. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Hi. Ellen. <laughs> Hi Ellen, my name is Seattle. Savannah and Seattle have never met one another. They are perfect strangers, yet their life stories are incredibly similar. They're both five-year-old girls. They both love their brother and their sister. They love to sing and dance and play dress-up. They both have city names that begin with the letter S. And shortly after their first birthday, they both became extremely ill with rare life-threatening diseases. The prognosis were pretty grim. Savannah's parents were told that she would most likely never speak or walk again. Seattle's parents were told that if she survived, she could be brain damaged. She would most likely also never walk and that her bladder would most likely be paralyzed and she may never breathe on her own again. Thankfully, both girls have fierce determination fierce spirits and amazing families that stood by them every step of the way. Literally every step of the way. And after a year-long mantra of Seattle chanting, I walk, I walk, I walk, I am so happy to say that she does indeed walk. And Seattle, um, Savannah not only walks, but she sings. She sings her little heart out. Whenever she's having a bad day, she puts on her breathing mask and she sings herself a song and it opens up her airways and helps her feel better. And when Seattle's having a bad day, her mom puts on some music, usually her favorite pink song, and that little girl dances her heart out. Despite how far the girls have come, they both still have a really long way to go. A really long way to go. And unfortunately, because their conditions are so rare or widely unknown, they tend to fall through the medical cracks of their respective medical systems. I had no idea in Canada where medical is free that a kid like Seattle would have to come up with $6,000 a year to pay for her own leg braces or $4,000 a year for a wheelchair that she's going to grow out of pretty soon. Savannah's family is facing much the same thing in the States where the different supplements and treatments that would help her are not covered by her parents insurance and after thirty five thousand dollars out of pocket her parents are really having a hard time coming up with the money that they need so when i found this out my friends and i decided to start a gofundme campaign and i gotta say it was a pretty huge success we our goal is twenty thousand and we're halfway there 
I have to say thanks to the creators and the stars of Battlestar Galactica because I put out a call to them, asked them if they would help, and to Battlestar Galactica form, they came out guns blazing. Uh, go find out about Savannah in Seattle. Go fund me. Go onto my website, Edward James Almost website, Katie Sackoff's website, and help out the girls. I also need to ask for your help, your help Ellen. You see, my two heroes, they've never met. And I can't think of a better place for them to meet than your show. The girls refer to each other as best friends. Hi, Seattle. I'm going to tell you a story. So once upon a time, there's two little girls named Seattle and Savannah that um, they went on a plane to play. And when they got there, they came to eat candy canes and play dress up and they needed and then they um they needed these characters of Battlestar Galactica. What did they do next? So um the um they um meted together and they played some games like hide and seek and then they talked about something about that that um, Savannah's five and Seattle's five and she needs a wheelchair and I need oxygen and so I'm so glad to see her with her wheelchair and I have oxygen. That sounds like a happy story. The end. <laughs> they need to know that they're not alone in this world. It's really hard to fit in when you're five years old and have to wear a breathing mask or are stuck in a wheelchair. On February 8th and 9th we have decided to do a campaign called I Walk for Savannah in Seattle. We've calculated the miles from each girl's home to your studio. It's 3,765 miles. And we've asked people all over the world if they would walk, run, bike, roll, swim, or paddle the, the girls to your studio. And the world seems to have answered. People are pretty excited from Burkina Faso, Thailand, Indonesia, Australia, England, Hungary, Romania, North America, we have people all over the world that are pledging to travel some distance in some fashion and they're gonna let you know how they do it. They're gonna tweet you, they're gonna Facebook you, they're gonna email you and hopefully we can virtually walk the girls to your studio. I just wonder if you can really get them to your studio. We would be ever so grateful. It would be a great place to talk about these really rare and widely unknown diseases and to shed some light on all the people who have any kind of rare disease that are falling through medical cracks. And of course for these two little warriors to meet one another. Thanks so much, Ellen. I appreciate you watching this. Mwah! From Vancouver.